Welcome back to the OK Kite Border. Just recently I received my 2019 Slingshot SST 10 meter kite. And this week I was able to use it in a number of different conditions. So in this episode, let's look at the way that the SST kite handles itself in different gusty conditions as well as how well it crosses over for the free ride kiter. Then we'll go test it in the waves. Just joking. This is the OK Kite Border, not the Cape Town Kite Border. I've been able to test this kite in three different types of conditions this week. The first day was 8 to 12 mile per hour winds, the second was 15 gusting to 35, and the third day was 10 to 20 mile per hour winds. Welcome to Oklahoma. Let's begin this episode with looking at how it handled on the foil in different conditions. The first day of testing was 8 to 12 mile per hour winds. My SST is a 10 meter kite and I thought this would be a good test for it because I'm used to riding a Cabrina Apollo, which I dread when it falls in the water in light winds because it's just not a very good relaunching kite out of the water, especially out of deep water. But that's not the case with this SST. The water relaunch in light winds, absolutely perfect. That thing is in its beefy delta shape, just wants to get out on the edge and sit on its edge asking you, please, please relaunch me. The SST is very quick and very responsive, whether it's on the start or in light winds, when that thing gets out on the edge of your wind window with just a little pull, that thing will go right back up to 12 o'clock, which is a huge bonus for me. When foiling on transitions, I noticed it's much more responsive, which made all of my transitions on the foil, myself being a beginner, much, much easier. It drifts spectacularly well. It will stay out in front of you and I never had an issue of outrunning the kite. As you notice at times I could even go hands free and I'm a new foiler because of how stable and steady that thing was at drifting downwind in front of me. The only negative I can even speak of is the absolute inability of this SST kite to pull my foil through earth. Day two consisted of 15 to 35 mile per hour gusts and this is the day I want to officially Make an apology to Mr. P. Cabrina because this is where the Cabrina Apollo shines in comparison to the SST. When it gets really gusty, that Apollo, the high aspect kite of it, is able to really dump those gusts out the back. And unfortunately, the SST is just not able to do this. And so as good as day one was, day two was a very sharp contrast because of the conditions. I think if you have greater than a 15 mile per hour difference between your base wind and your gusts, the SST is not a good choice. So what I did was I switched kites over to a comparable size Cabrina Apollo on the day of 15 to 35 mile per hour winds and I had absolutely no issues. I had a great day on the Apollo when I was really barely even able to ride the SST on my foil. I then switched back to the SST and I went and grabbed my twin tip board. And I would say it was okay. The lift on jumps was average. But what I really didn't like was its lack of upwind rideability, which is probably not much of a surprise in a foil surf kite. But because of that, I probably wouldn't use it as an option for a twin tip board. And personally for me, this substantiated that this is really a foil surf kite. But I was probably a little too optimistic going into it, hoping for even more than that. In a few moments, I'll have one of our local skilled freestyle riders take it out, give it a spin, see what he thinks of the SST for his riding style. Day three was 10 to 20 mile per hour winds and the SST was back. Back to the expectations, back to that kite I saw on day one. Without severe gust, it drifted seamlessly. It was back to that kite that I was really having high expectations for on a foil. Now a few points from the perspective of local freestyle rider, Sam. This is Sam. Hi, I'm Sam. So the overall thoughts from the advanced freestyler on the SST. It's an extremely quick moving kite, which is definitely a positive. Also, it's really great on water relaunch. However, the upwind performance is just marginal, and riding unhooked, it just doesn't respond very well. Overall, Sam's grade is a C plus for the SST, but that's not a surprise. We weren't expecting much from the freestyle side as a crossover. 
In conclusion, look, the SST is not the do-it-all kite. I was hoping it would be, but it's not. But if you want a kite for foiling or probably for surf as well, it's very quick turning. It's able to drift well downwind. It's able to relaunch off the water in really light conditions seamlessly. Then this is probably a good fit for you. I hope you gained a decent perspective on the 2019 Slingshot SST. And if you have a chance, which you do right now, will you please just click on my link here to subscribe to my channel. It's what allows me to continue doing these episodes. Thanks, and we'll see you next time on the OK Kite Border.